Hi, Steve. Before we get started with this video, give it a thumbs up. Click that like button right below the video. Let's get to the video game news for this video. <laughs> Some dope news items. The first one. Yesterday, Phil Spencer just revealed that he actually has an Xbox Bro. Oh my goodness. This Xbox Elite 2 controller, fire flames but he's already revealed phil spencer that he has an xbox scarlet control um not controller a console in his home that it is now his primary gaming machine bro oh. but some new news has just dropped today coming courtesy of kotaku.com it looks like xbox is in fact working on not one but two next gen consoles now this rumor was debunked a couple months ago but now it looks like it's being reconfirmed now they're saying they're gonna have the high-end super powerful disk drive beefy xbox scarlet and a still powerful not as powerful according to these rumors discless no disc an all digital console code named lock art look like it's still in the works interesting the xbox sad edition y'all remember the xbox sad edition that was the same price <laughs> or even more in some places in the xbox s with the disc it looks like that was just a test run for next gen and in europe the xbox side edition did pretty good so and i was just thinking i can't remember the last time i bought a physical copy of a game for my xbox bro if <coughs> if the xbox this next gen xbox that one that's supposed to be all digital if it was the same power as the other version i would pick that one up but i'm going for the creme la creme i'm going for the most powerful console that they have to offer if i decide to get um, xbox next gen system so not one but two consoles and they're saying that with a powerful anaconda um uh, um xbox scarlet that their target is 4K 60 frames per second the minute, bro. If I buy Xbox next gen Xbox, I better not see any 30 frame per second games, bro. None, none. The Xbox uh, One has 30 second frames per game, but not not for next gen. 4K 60, and that the second tier discless uh, Xbox will target 1440p resolution and 60 frames per second so they pretty much play the same games the only difference will be the resolution the power and resolution so interesting to see um this year is going to be a dope year for gaming bro to see what both sony and microsoft have to offer nintendo i think is sticking to their guns software 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 um we're going to see what happens in 2020 the start of a new decade in gaming speaking of sony it's just been announced that Sony is having a state of play on December 10th. For those of you like, what in the world are you talking about? This is their version of a Nintendo Direct where they reveal new games, um, things going on in the world of PlayStation. And it's said that they're going to be featuring new game reveals. Now... I found this date. Oh, scratch my head a little. Maybe Sony um, 
<coughs> has some more announcements because this is coming right after the Game Awards. Game Awards, December 7th, three days later, they're having the state of play. I wonder if Sony's going to sort of get overshadowed by any um, Game Awards announcements because these Game Award announcements are pretty lit. But just three days after, no, yeah, 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 three days after, when is the Game Awards? Now I'm confused. It's right around the same time as the Game Awards. It's right next to the Game Awards, the state of play. So interesting, interesting, interesting. The um, Game Awards, is, I think it's December 12th. Y'all go look that up. I know it's either the 7th or the 12th. Somebody type it in the comment section. Y'all always correct me anyway, so go ahead. But either way, if we, even if it's the 7th or the 12th, it's right around the Game Awards. So um, interesting to see. The last... Sony is like 0 for 2, 0 for 3 with these state of plays, bro. They are lame, bro. They were lame. The last one was horrible. I was like, Sony, what are y'all doing? You're wasting your time. All right. Also, YouTube just had their um, YouTube Rewind for 2019. And one of the categories was the most played game on YouTube. And you would have thought Fortnite would have took that crown. Nope. Not in 2019, ladies and gentlemen. 2019 Minecraft is still the most played game on YouTube. That is crazy, bro. And <coughs> to Minecraft's credit, it did make a comeback last year, bro. It did make a comeback. I'm going to be on Minecraft Dungeons, but I can't play this game. I never understood how this game could be fun. My kids still play it. Um... But, hey, this is a moneymaker for Xbox. Xbox is like, we'll put this game on every system. Um, it's on the PlayStation Switch and on Xbox. Bro, if this was an Xbox exclusive, Microsoft would make a killing still, but gamers would be mad. Um, but they're making even more money having it cross-play on all systems. And speaking of Game Awards, right? Or, man, let me just let y'all know the Game Awards date real quick. The Game Awards... Right around the corner, expect game reveals. Thursday, December 12th is the official date. Ha! I know you typed it, but I still figured it out without reading your comments. Trying to criticize. Hope you want to get your dates right. December 12th. Thursday, December 12th. Game Awards. Expect. I expect game reveals from both. From all. Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo. This was the conference where we got, come on, bro, give me a better resolution. Where we got Zelda Breath of the Wild, the gameplay revealed for the very first time. And so, big games are revealed during this time. Should be lit, should be lit. And mark your calendars for the Game Awards on December 12th. Yeah, they're going to give out awards because it's called the Game Awards. But we're here for the reveals. Jeff Kelly knows it too. And last but not least... Pretty interesting game just dropped. I probably would have picked up this game if I didn't have other games to play. Ancestors, the Humankind Odyssey, uh, has just launched on the Xbox and PlayStation 4. The game is it's not a full $60 game. It's $39.99. It looks interesting. It just looks unique, bro. Just looks like a unique, unique game. But your boy... Has a lot of games to play. I'm still trying to beat Jedi Fallen Order now. That's my focus right now. Star Wars, boy. Star Wars, the movie is about to drop. Oh, I can't wait, can't wait, can't wait, man. Uh, these last, the last trilogy has been pretty lit. Some of the best movies, in my opinion. All right. Um, also, tonight with the sponsors, if you want to join a dope gaming community, game with your boy, um, get on my friend list. Um, tonight I'm going to be on Apex Legends and Call of Duty. I might squeeze in some 2K at the end. Yeah, I'm going to play some 2K. Might. I'm going to play 2K. Um, Call of Duty and Apex is what we're going to be starting with. If you're a Twitch sub, a YouTube member, or a Patreon sponsor, we're going to be gaming. You can join my private gaming Discord and we'll have a good time. All right, dudes. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things nintendo gaming bro we out boy where's my outro
Steve is still a popular guy. Is his name Steve? That's such a generic name. My bad to all the subscribers named Steve. <laughs>